a security agent takes position at the Great Hall of the People during the opening session of the 19th National Congress of the Communist Party of China in Beijing, China, October 18, 2017. Reuters Thomas Petter Beijing Reuters The value of overseas assets held by China's centrally owned enterprises has exceeded 6 trillion yuan $906.34 billion, with investments in more than 185 countries and regions, the state assets regulator said on Wednesday. China's state-owned enterprises SOS are spearheading investment in infrastructure projects overseas along the ancient Silk Road land and sea trade routes, part of Beijing's signature Belt and Road Initiative. Firms owned by the central government have cobbled 1,676 projects with countries along the Belt and Road, the state assets regulator said in a handout ahead of a news conference on the sidelines of the 19th Party Congress in Beijing. So as such as shipping conglomerate Costco and the world's biggest utility state Grid Corporation of China have invested heavily in such projects in recent years to deepen China's links with economies throughout Asia and beyond. Overseas assets held by State Grid has reached $57.7 billion by now, all of which are profitable, Xu Yanbiao, chairman of State Grid, said at the news conference. But China has been increasingly scrutinizing irrational overseas spending by both private and state firms since late last year, which it suspected was one way of disguising capital flight as the yuan currency faltered. The state assets regulator issued regulatory rules on outbound investments by central controlled state firms early this year, saying it would establish a negative list of investment projects that central controlled state firms would not be allowed to invest in. Near doubling of assets total assets held by China central and SOS are expected to reach 55 trillion yuan 8.31 trillion dollars in 2017 nearly doubling over the past five years, state-run China News Service reported on Wednesday, citing the state assets regulator. China aims to create bigger stronger state firms and build enterprises capable of competing globally, while weeding out excessive capacity in bloated sectors without risking mass layoffs or a blow to economic growth. Assets owned by central government companies have exceeded 53 trillion yuan by now. How Peng, party chief of the State and Asset Supervision and Administration Commission SASAC, was quoted as saying on the sidelines of Congress. Profits at those firms in the past five years totaled 6.4 trillion yuan, a more than 30 percent jump versus the previous five years, Hao said, according to China News Service. China will prevent the loss of state assets, deepen reforms of state firms and develop a mix of inertia economy, President Xi Jinping said at the opening of the Twisita Kate Congress. Xiao Yaking, head of SAS Act, said on Wednesday that so restructuring must be more kept driven, but added that authorities will try to avoid layoffs. We hope there will be more restructuring and less bankruptcy, to have more job relocation and fewer layoffs, Xiao said. Central government and companies have also cut steel capacity by more than 16 million tons and coal capacity by more than 58 million tons during the past five years, Hal was quoted as saying. The world's top coal consumer and steelmaker has launched a campaign to shut down substandard steel output in its war on pollution and industrial overcapacity. $6.6200 Chinese Yuan Renminbi reporting by Aizhu Chan and Matthew Miller writing by Lusha Zhang and Ryan Wu editing by Kim Coghill.